Oh man, look at this guys. Ah, look at that. Presented to Sodaland for passing 100,000 subscribers. And then they sent me this letter saying, do you remember your first subscriber? I think it was my mom. <laughs> Thanks to you guys who actually subscribed to our channel. Um, and if you're not subscribed to our channel, which 58% of you who watch our channels are not. <laughs> so if you can, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, the next one we get is gonna be for a million. Let's go for a million. We're ready to do this because this is a family effort here with Little Miss P and Lorraine <laughs> as we continue to grow our channel. Yeah, thank you guys for, for just being there and supporting and the comments and the likes and the shares that you guys give us. Um, yeah, it means a lot. And I'm ready to, to do another 100,000. We have these two rows that we just planted in, that Lorraine just planted here. We have onions. Pretty much this whole row is all onions. Also, we got beets in here that we planted. And we got carrots. Have not planted anything on this rose yet. So I'm getting these garden beds ready. Taking out the weeds. That was one bag? Mm-hmm. Oh. I think that's enough. <laughs> well, remember I was like, no, just maybe like one bag for every two beds. Yeah, we're gonna need like one bag per bed. <laughs> These are the seed potatoes that we got on Lorraine's birthday. Uh, we cut these in half. This is about 20 pounds. And we still have another 25, 30 pounds that we have not cut up. So this one we're doing a single trench. And I think the other boxes will try maybe a double trench. Just because we want to really try and use up all these potatoes. We actually, we only had these raised beds in here last year we had one raised bed that we've had for five years and it's still going um, but these ones all we had in here was onions last year and the onions did not do very well for us I'm gonna take a handful of these sit on my box cut side down they're supposed to be like i don't know maybe 12 inches apart but we're not doing that <laughs> We don't follow the rules. Probably why we never have a good potato harvest. <laughs> Some of these beds we're going to be putting two rows because we have the potatoes and we have the space um, but we might use a container start doing container potatoes also good job Penelope. so good all right so these are all filled with potatoes we're going to be planting onions here potatoes we still have a bunch left over and for those i think we're going to try con some containers never done containers before maybe some five gallon buckets or something like that but we need more soil These guys, Murray's Big Red Broilers, are 20 days old now. So we're gonna be putting these out, I predict, we'll, we'll probably put these guys out uh, maybe next this week, either this week or next week, I don't know, I'm trying to see. And if you see their feathers are already had come came out, and that's what you wanna wait and see. It's all right, it's all right. And the Cornish crosses, if you have those, you might think, well, the feathers never come out. <laughs> and that is true because the Cornish are a different breed bird. These ones will feather out, and uh, these are also more slower growing. And so I cannot wait to put these in our movable chicken tractors. It's all right, it's all right. 
And then also, I am doing DIY plans of our new brooder system here. And if you want to have access to those plans, you can sign up to our online private community group, uh, which we have also where you could sign up for our online chicken processing workshops. So I'll leave that link down below in the show notes. And this is something we've never done, was grow potatoes in pots. But it's something we've always wanted to do. Or at least I've always wanted to do. This is a grow bag that we haven't tried before. I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. We have always cut our potatoes before in the past and we've never really had great success with growing potatoes. I mean, we were able to grow some, but we've never had great success. Um, we're gonna give it a try this year in all different kinds of methods. So one method that we're trying new this year is um, we're just gonna try one barrel of whole potatoes instead of cutting them up. The rest of them will all be cut, but I thought maybe just this small handful we can try whole potatoes and see how that comes out. So we'll try this yellow bucket with the whole potatoes and I'm just going to put them sprout side up which this one has many sprouts, so. <laughs> this grow bag here, I believe it's a three gallon bag. So play some like mine, Penelope. Mm -hmm. this, some of these don't even have like eyes up? or sprouts. What? Cover them up. No, not yet. Before I get them. That's it, that's it. All we need to do is just fill it, fill it with soil. And that's it. it. And water it, yep. Where's your shoes at, Penelope? I don't need any. Oh. I think every year we say, this is gonna be our best potato harvest ever. But we're gonna say it again this year, because I really do think so. I wanna put these barrels here, so that way it kind of hopefully offsets like this black tarp that we put in our garden. And like, it's gonna, the potatoes are gonna grow leaves and um, it's gonna just bring more color to our garden. Because right now it's just like this black tarp. I want to do this with like potted flowers. That's what I really want to do. Last year our potato harvest did not do very well at all. So that's why I'm very hopeful for this container method. Good job Penelope. Penelope's watering. And I think we didn't do well, good. We didn't do well last year for our potatoes because we noticed we had some mice problems in our garden. So I think it would be beneficial if we had a cat. And then if we move, we could take our potato pots with us. Yeah, I think the think think of these things. All right, we have some onions starts that the rain's putting in our greenhouse. We have a shovel in here. Yep, it falls, fails. Look in the mud kitchen because it's probably there. Five years ago today is when we first arrived on our property when we left California and when we left California and came here um, there was nothing here so to be out here right now five years later and all this was just grass this high and when we arrived when we first pulled up I remember thinking wow now what now what do we do because it took a lot of energy and effort and planning to move out here, uh, not knowing anybody really, and not even knowing what I'd be doing for work. We just moved. It was a combination of hope and fear that was just moving us forward to the next step. Say the words that I'm thinking all the time. I thought you 